Hey guys, Mushroom Gecko here, and I'm back with you for, um, and I'm back at you with another Redstone, uh, Commander video. And today, um, I kind of took this idea from the, um, anime show Soul Eater. So, um, yeah, there's this character named Krona in Soul Eater who, um, has this, he has this black blood. And, like, there's this guy that pops out of his back, and he can, like, just reach into the guy and just take a sword out of him and, like, turn him into a sword. So that's what I've done here today. So if I, like, switch out of the sword, you will notice that I get a buffer, or that I get, um, a buffer, and this guy spawns, Sacron. Sacron spawns right behind me, you know, from Hyper Heroes, Sacron spawns right behind my back. And, uh, once I go into the sword, he dies, and those buffers go away. So, um... So yeah, I have a command set up here that gives me um, that gives me a stone sword with an unbreaking enchantment level 100 and a lore called Fear Your Dreams. So and it's uh, called Nightmare Sword. So let's get with the basics. Uh, I'll show you what that clock is later, but this clock is what we need to really worry about. So this clock, what we have is um, we we, we have a clock. So, where, where should I start? Um, okay, Let, let's start with this clock, I think. So yeah, first it's going to test if I have the Nightmare Sword in slot 0, which is the first slot in your inventory. So if, um... So if I did not add that in there, it would just test if I had the Nightmare Sword all together, and it would just wonk things up. So, um, what I did, it's just that I kept it in inventory 1, so, like, it wouldn't wonk everything up. So, test for that, and, um, and if it tests for if I have it in my hand, first, it is going to deactivate this Redstone Torch that will, um, alright. So, let's say I do not have the sword in my hand. If I do not have the sword in my hand, this will turn off, and this redstone torch will turn on, which will cause this command block to summon the wither boss, Sacron, uh, named Sacron, right here. And then this command block is going to teleport it right to me. Now, I have another command block right over here that teleports Sacron, or the wither boss, to me. At all, at all time. So, like, never stop teleporting to me. So, um, I believe it's over here. So, if I do not have, so if I have the sword in my hand, alright. So, if I do not have the sword in my hand, and when it is spawning Sacron, Sacron gives me these, uh, boosts. So, I have this uh, redstone torch turning on when I do not have the sword in my hand. That's going to activate this comparator. And it is going to... Um, I don't even think we need a comparator. But I'm just going to keep it there. And then it's going to have... Yes, we do, actually. Um, do we? I don't think you do. But um, it's going to activate this um, redstone line. Which is constantly going to keep this clock running. So, basically what I'm doing is that I'm having this on subtract mode, which is constantly making a clock from three pieces of redstone. And it's going to constantly activate this repeater that is going to give me these effects forever. Like, they're never going to stop. And I don't even think, I don't even think we need to do that. I think we could just, that's not what I mean to do. Hang on. What I could do, it's just this. Yeah, you, yeah, you, gotta, you could just do that. Because it's just going to give me a speed, jump, uh, just going to give me speed, jump boost 3, and regeneration forever. So this is going to be an overpowered thing in hyperpowers. So, um, so once I have this in my hand, it act, um, this repeater activates this block when I do not have the sword in my hand, which turns off this, 
which did not get rid of my effects. Like I said, it did not get rid of my effect. But once I do have the sword in my hand, it activates this rectum torch, which gets rid of all these effects. Now this right here is the speed, this is the regeneration, and this is the jump boost. So um, what it's going to do is constantly get rid of these by changing it from 1,000 or um, 10,000 to zero. So it can change all these to zero, so I instantly lose the effect. So, um, over here, I believe. Alright. So, it's gonna test for the Nightmare Sword. And, uh, wait, never mind. I already went over that. I'm sorry. Um, I knew I was missing something. So, um, over here, it's gonna test for if we have the Nightmare Sword in our hand. And if it does, it's gonna activate this comparator, which is going to run this line. I, I kind of like wonk things up with this also. So, it can activate this line which is going to turn on this command block to kill the wither boss. So basically what it's doing is that once I have the nightmare sword in my hand, it's going to do everything to get rid of the effects and the wither at the same time. And if I don't have it in my hand, it's just going to give me the effects and spawn the wither at the same time. So you can just whack your people, I guess. I I'm probably going to sh put sharpness one on this. So, uh, over here, we have this faster running clock, which I should have done for that. But I have this faster running clock that's going to constant... Now, now, you, now you're probably wondering why that wither was not shooting at... at not a good idea. Oh, wait, I'm on peaceful mode. So, um... So, what it's going to do... Because that is going to... It's constantly activating this command block that's killing uh, wither skulls. So you can like kill. Um, so whenever the wither shoots, it uh, it automatically kills the wither skull, so you don't get hurt. Now um, I actually tested this out a few times, and the only time you get hurt is it probably it will probably only happen once, but I doubt it that will happen at all. Because um, unless you want me to make a super fast redstone clock thingy with the command with the redstone block, then uh, it's gonna probably hit you maybe once, but but rarely at all. So I mean, like this is a pretty efficient clock, but yeah. So that's basically all I have to show you guys uh, for hyper powers. Just a little update that I'm gonna add into the map for uh, one of the shop items. Uh, it's gonna be called the Nightmare Sword in the shop. And uh, yeah, so it's just a little sneak peek preview on how I'm gonna do this for um, hyper power. So if you record this, you can uh, you can show your people like how the uh, how the Nightmare Sword is running. So, um, yeah, just a little thing that I want to show you guys. So, uh, yeah, level 1 of life from the Mycelium Mushrooms. Happy time with the Love Geckos. And keep those gems shining, everyone. Gecko out. Boop. Thank you guys for watching.